I was in uh, Myanmar early, late last year, and we're down there filming this thing, and this kid, like 22-year-old crab fisherman, gets bitten by a crocodile. Oh. Croc grabs him by the arm, grabs him by the thigh, and death rolls. So it breaks the arm in like, I don't know, 15 places, compound fracture, the real deal. I can show you pictures of it, it'll blow your mind. And we hear about this, and we're minutes away. We just It's kind of one of the similar situations where we're the first Westerners to be there in a long time. We go bombing over at high speed, and we get there, and the mom is, like, off mourning the death of her child, but her child is sitting there still alive. Like, they have oh. written him off. And it's, mom, is, mom is literally mourning the death of her child, and he's, he's lying there conscious, but, like, in total shock. Fortunately, just because of the situation, we had a speedboat, everything else, we bandaged him up, you know, T- tried to keep his arm stable and his leg stable, put him in our speedboat, and it was six hours by speedboat to a village that had a, or to a, to a hospital, really. And so he got there, and his life was saved, but I asked, we asked the, the people in the village, what w- were you going to do? And they're like, there's nothing we can do. Wow. So he was just going to bleed out or go septic, and that was the end of it. Ooh, what a fucking rough way to go. Right? Ooh. How did he get away from the crocodile? Uh, I don't know. I think he was just hitting it or hammering on it. He was crab fishing in the water, and it came up and grabbed him, rolled a few times, and at some point he escaped. How he even got back in the boat and made it back to the village, I have no idea, because his leg was shattered, his arm was shattered. It was brutal. And it was a canoe, you know? It wasn't like he had a little motor or a wheel to drive. He canoed back.